So guys, I just want to make it very, very clear that nothing in this video has been sponsored. I genuinely want to have like a one-on-one -on -one spa nights with you. And in order for me to do that, I need to also be able to show you like my shampoos, my conditioners, the oils I use, um, the cocktails I have, like all that stuff. And I want to keep it very natural and authentic. So kindly just keep that in mind as we proceed. Okay, so I just need to figure out how I'm gonna light that candle but you know when the candle is like really inside like you can't reach in or you'll burn your hand like tell me that looks bad I need to do my nails face scrub if you haven't seen my previous video about the honey and sugar scrub i'm gonna tag it on the screen right now that's the scrub that i'm gonna be using for today's video i need to wash my hair the last time i washed my hair was i think three four days ago but my eczema has come back and it's been like flaking a little bit so i just need to like get that out of the way I'm also going to be doing a rice water rinse. Rice water is actually what I use to grow my hair out and to keep it really, really strong and healthy because of course my hair is not only bleached, but I love to straighten it. I just, I love how my hair looks when it is straight with this sort of gold look. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, I know a lot of you are going to be like, Elodie, why did you bleach your hair? Why did you straighten it? Why do you continue to straighten it? You're frying your hair. Listen, I know there's like a huge natural hair movement, but that doesn't mean that like those of us that want to like keep our hair straight and stuff should feel guilty about it. And then the best part of the evening is that, you know how like, most people when they show you like their nighttime routines they have like a nice cup of tea y'all know me we got cocktails today i normally order my cocktails from drunken ape on instagram i usually order them for me personally when i'm having a spa night like tonight just by myself relaxing listening to like lo-fi music in the background okay it's my kind of thing okay it doesn't look the best right now but we're just gonna have to work with this okay we're just gonna have to work with this yeah? So, so, I'll do it before I sleep. So the first thing we need to do is we need to prepare our honey and sugar face scrub. So normally how I mix my honey and sugar scrub is I put half a teaspoon of sugar and then a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of honey. You just want to like really mix that up, mix that up until you get this like pasty thingy thing 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 pasty thing pasty thing pasty thing we're gonna be using this on my face and on my hands so i had pre-mixed the rice water earlier in the day today so the rice has actually been sleeping in the water for a couple hours now so it should be nice and solid so as of the rice water we are done and we are ready to go and then of course a vip we have got the cocktail now i originally met the guy that started drunken ape at village market when i was with my really really good friend savannah and he's actually like a professional mixologist and so he started up this company called drunken ape where they basically deliver cocktails to your doorstep there's three different flavors that you can choose from if you want what i'm going to do to make it easier is i'm going to put a pop-up right here on the screen so go ahead and have a look for today night i will be partaking in one myself to set the mood i'm actually you know what i'm just talking a lot let us just let's just dive into this video <laughs> like i just <laughs> i feel so i feel so fancy i feel so classy I'm gonna put some music right now because I need to put on some lo-fi and enjoy myself a little bit.
I just rinsed off my hands. They're feeling very, very soft already. Normally when I do that hand scrub, I'm trying to be careful because it started removing my tattoos on my fingers. So I just need to be very cautious about that. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into the shower. So on my body, I normally just use Fa. I know there's like a wide range of flavors. I just pick any. For my hair, I'm a very, very big L'Oreal fan. I use both the shampoo and the conditioner. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, no, you should use like Cantu. You should use like Shea Moisture because you have curly hair, da 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 da. I've tried all that stuff. Trust me, like these two work. My hair loves keratin, so any products that have keratin tend to work like magic for me. So what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna use some shampoo, wash my hair, then I'm gonna put the rice water in, and then I will be right back once I have done that. So, see you in a bit. I'm out of the shower. It is 8.20, so at around 8.35ish, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it. So like I said, don't worry. I'm gonna do an entire video on how I make rice water because honestly, this stuff is amazing. If you wanna grow your hair, if you wanna tone your skin, if you wanna get rid of like scarring, if you have like pimples or anything, rice water is so easy to make, so affordable and really works magic. So actually right now I have rice water all over me. I pour the rice water all over my scalp primarily and my hair. It's gonna strengthen my hair. It has a lot of protein in it. So as long as I balance out protein and moisturizing, it's gonna be amazing for my hair. The second place that I have rice water is on my face. It's amazing for toning. And I just leave it under my eyes for like a quick five, 10 minutes. Very, very good. I don't know if you've noticed, but like I don't have a lot of dark circles under my eyes and I really thank rice water for that. has been about 15 20 minutes so you see when you look at me right there's a very like even complexion i know my face is slightly darker obviously because it's more exposed to the sun the point of rice water just it gives you a very toned complexion of course there'll be imperfections nobody's perfect but it's really really great in regards to my hair you can really start to see my curls now for those of you wondering i have three B mixed with 3C hair, but you can really see my curls. That's why I was telling you guys, I'm like, yes, I bleached my hair. Yes, I straightened my hair quite a lot, but it's not damaged. So I will be right back. Let me go rinse everything off, use my conditioner, detangle my hair, and then I will be right back after I have put on some clothes to begin with all right so i am officially done in the shower i am clean shout out to youth and culture i'm rocking this really awesome mtv shirt my mom is on the phone she talks so loud anyway um i just want to oil my hair really quickly i normally oil my hair with olive oil alone and then I'm gonna be right back. But this is my hair with no oil, no conditioner, no rice water, no product. All right, let's oil this scalp, baby. to let my hair just air dry as is so i'm gonna just leave it like this it should be dry by the time i'm going to bed 
and then I'll just tie it up. I know it's like probably a good idea to do like twist outs or some kind of like protective style. I don't do that stuff because I'm just lazy as hell. But if you know how to do twist out, twist outs. That's the cocktail. That's the cocktail right there. If you know how to do twist outs, then you can go ahead and do that right now. But I can't tell you how to do twist outs. I have no idea. So for my face, I have this tub of coconut oil. And then on my body, I just use like the normal Vaseline like lotion. Um, I love cocoa butter. Really, really good. And then I normally put in olive oil. So I buy this. I mix it with a lot of olive oil. Probably like three quarters lotion and one quarter olive oil. Shake it up. Great on my skin. Um, and then of course my tattoo cream. Um... For my new tattoos when it comes to cleaning my cuticles there's only two things that i use and i don't know what they're called <laughs> this is the first one it's like a nail file but it also like cleans underneath the nail and then this one <laughs> i'm pretty sure you can get these at like carrefour at Shoprite, any supermarket they shouldn't be more than like two three hundred bob and i've had these for like years yeah i'm gonna clean my cuticles on my toes like I know when I've had like red carpet gigs I'd always like go and do acrylic nails because it's a special occasion but for me like every day practically it just doesn't make sense firstly because I like work out and sometimes I do boxing and acrylic nails and boxing don't go very well together secondly I just act like a man in public I, if I if, if there's a patch of grass I'll just start doing flips and shit you know and that doesn't really work well with acrylic nails. The other day we went to my friend's house in Yari and I decided rather than going for the barbecue, I was gonna take some shots and climb a tree. Won't really go well with acrylics. For those of you that can hack acrylics, shit, dive in, you know, do you boo, do you boo. I just have some tissue and some wipes for hygiene over here. So the first question that I get asked a lot is how I started on my spiritual journey. Like what are some practical steps that you can implement? And I'd definitely say step number one is just by going on YouTube, guys. Honestly, the same way you're watching this video and you're learning a lot, going on YouTube and just typing in how to meditate. Trust me, you'll find so many people like giving advice and tips. So definitely like go ahead and check that out. <laughs> 